Welcome back to Building Ascot. Today we're going to be adding a few elements to the story of the place. At first glance, what we would make here is a simple house and a bit of a field, but sticking to the advice of episode 3, I have put a lot of thought into what else this space could be used for. This is where the lore and stories can really help you to add some finer details and create some unique ideas within your project. Making up stories isn't even something you need to do particularly well for it to have a positive impact on your builds. The simplest of stories can bring out originality with what you want to create. With this in mind, I've added a couple of smaller details and also a major story element with this space. I've decided the house and field we build today are both owned by the farmer that lives across the lake. He wants the person living in the house to leave so he can knock it down and plant some more crops as the land here is quite fertile and would turn a larger profit than the rent he receives from the property. Unfortunately for him, the old lady that lives there doesn't want to go. A preventative measure the farmer has had to implement to stop the wild horses from coming in and eating his crops is he has had to surround the field with a prickly hedge to keep the pesky things out. We can see one of his crops is close to harvesting and a big thanks goes to Elandria for helping with the design of this field. The extra hide has afforded some privacy for a young man to set up a picnic for what he is hopeful will turn into a lover's tryst. He has put a small rug down with a bottle of alcohol that he has pinched from his parents and a couple of cups in a hope of wooing a young lady. We also have a very ineffectual scarecrow here at the front of the field. Getting to a deeper part of the story, people over on Twitch might remember the bad guy named Lucardus has a mother that lives in a small country town. Well, Ascot is that town. He was brought up without knowing his father because his mother used to pay her way through life by betting young travellers that come through Ascot and are looking for some fun. As an older lady, this is less of a viable option for her. Luckily, Lucardus has moved to the city and periodically sends her money. The farmer that owns the house she rents wants her out so he can demolish and plant a crop in the space so he has been neglecting the maintenance of the property for a long time. He also put the rent up as high as the mayor would let him to try and drive her out. Unfortunately for the farmer she is still able to afford the rent due to the funds her son sends her and is too old to travel now anyway. The mayor has since forced the farmer to fix the house up as it was becoming an eyesore and he wasn't abiding by local laws when it comes to being a landlord. So the farmer is currently repairing the place but in defiance is doing it in the cheapest possible way, using bits and pieces of timber that he has found at hand. He is also using beams to just hold up the walls rather than using the stone and plaster of the original building. The farmer is very lucky that Lucardus has not come to visit his mother for a long time. I tried to make the interior look like it used to be well furnished with a large table for entertaining guests. Now however we see a lone plate and a cup, while this is quite a sad tale of a lonely old lady, an absent son and a dodgy farmer, in creating it we have now turned a field and a house into something more. This is also no epic tale with heroes to save the day, but an inevitable struggle of greed. It's a simple story for a simple build that helps add layers and atmosphere to what we are trying to create. Alright, let's go and have a look at the smaller details that I've added. Sometimes I have to go back and add some of the extra details beyond the time lapse. Just because of the nature of the building that we do with uh, CMD Cam Mod, I don't always get to add all the smaller details while we're doing the time lapse part of the building. So I just want to do a bit of a fly through and, and show you guys the mini details that we do to try and enhance the story with the area. So you can see here at the, at the front, every good field needs a, a scarecrow. So we've used a block from Victory Mod and Conquest there to create a little scarecrow that crows don't seem to be too bothered by. Over in here, we've got our little uh, lover's den. A young man is, is trying to, to get a little bit of action by wooing a woman into the field. And if we're down here, you can see you actually do get quite a bit of, quite a bit of privacy. So he's, he's pretty hopeful. Just little elements like that help just add something extra with what would be otherwise be a simple field. We've also got a couple of mice and rocks and stuff through the place as well. Here's Lucardus' mother's house. Well, like we spoke about in the in the story, it's it's pretty worn down. It's not in the it's not in the greatest nick. You can see here at the back end where the farmer is patching up the building using bits of timber. And I've put like just a couple of items just here where he might break these items apart and then use them to patch up the walls. And he's got some fresh log here that he's sawing up to potentially hold up part of the wall with the beams here too, supporting the structure. 
Now, if we go into the front, Licardus' mother has got a little farm thing out the front just to sort of supplement her, her food. We've added another little tree and a little chopping wood area here. Also, we've got the copper weed still spreading everywhere as it does. If we go inside, we can see Lucatus' mother's living space. You can tell that it used to be quite nice, like it used to probably be a little bit nicer. There's actually a station where she would do her makeup. I know that some people are going to think that this pole here is for one thing, but it is literally just there to hold up the roof, as the roof was about to cave in, so the farmer had to implement something to, to keep it up. And she's got plenty of storage for her clothes and things, which would, she would have quite a few of, given a previous profession. And now we can see she's just storing a little stool in the corner there and it's just got like a single cup, single plate and some veggies that she's chopped up onto the bench there. We can see that with this build that it's a pretty simple idea, like it's just a house and a field. But we've added those extra little story elements to the space and it's helped create something unique out of the building. Looks like a monstrosity as it should, considering what is happening to it. The space has become something much more than just a house and a field just by adding those simple little story elements. If you wait around for a second, you'll get to see a time lapse of what this place was to what it is now. It's about 30 seconds long, so check that one out as well. Alright, thanks for watching another episode of Building Ascot.